Hi, everybody. It's me and my buddy. <laughs> he won't stay with us for long. Go ahead, sweetie boy. Anyway, just wanting to make a video in this July 16th, July 17th gateway of 2016. These are powerful influxes of light coming into the planet to remember the ancient fabric of the Christed grid. It's a time where um, those of us that are really working to anchor this grid need a lot of rest, a lot of gentleness, a lot of water, greens, deep, deep connection with the earth, with our bare feet. Because this beautiful, vitally alive grid comes up under our feet through the Mother Earth, as well as down from the stars. So it's such a time to drink deeply of the truly life-giving experiences of connecting with the earth as much as we can, staying away from the EMFs of computers and mind activity that is in any way segregated from all the other chakras, but really being in a holistic, um, sacred dedication to the weaving of the worlds that's occurring right now. There's also a lot of time where the spiral of addiction may be coming up and being activated, whether it's addiction to food, addiction to TV, addiction to romantic love, addiction to substances. It is this, this spiral away from presence that sources itself in trauma that makes us vulnerable to addiction. So as you can see that this, this reversal spiral has to be cleansed from the earth if we are to truly anchor the new earth energy which comes in a huge wave in the end of 2017. So we're very much preparing for this great influx and um, purging all of this the energies from the earth that would repel that light so that when that light does come in it can really be received and bring this tremendously beautiful upgrade to the genetic code in the mitochondria of Gaia and in the mitochondria of all life on earth and my beautiful friend goddess sister Sibel <laughs> I know you're talking about this too and this, this going from the consumptive modeling to the restoration of the inner circuitry of nourishment to God source. God source above, God source below, God source within that finally mends all the brokenness and makes us finally not vulnerable to that wild raging wind of addiction. So, it is a process of feeling the traumatic pain that causes that spiral of addiction and meeting ourselves with self-love until we can really hold ourselves in that deep, deep love, that wind of addiction. We will be vulnerable to that wind of addiction until that self-love inside is very, very strong. So, much love to everyone, and um, I'm dealing with this reversal, the taming of the reversal field, really strongly right now. So, if you're going through it, reach out on the inner planes to me, and know you're not alone. Okay, we will talk again. Blessings.